standing here beside the old Brougham carriage. Now, Lord Brougham, who I think was Chancellor of Exchequer in Britain, he's a Scotsman originally. He's the one who patented this, that's why it's called a Brougham carriage, B-R-O-U-G-H-A-M. But this particular carriage belonged to a family called the Green family over in Dundrum, not terribly far away from here, and they donated this to my father-in-law many years ago. Um, but an interesting story that was told about it was the last time that this particular Brougham carriage was used was in 1924. And they used to keep the old carriage inside in an old building that they had they used to store things inside in. And they took it out because their daughter or granddaughter had Holy Communion. So anyway, they brought the daughter to Holy Communion in the Brougham carriage, brought it back and put it into, we call it the garage, which is a big outbuilding where they kept all their different things inside. And subsequently somebody subsequently broke into it and stole it. And they also had a small, smaller carriage as well. So that looked like it was the end of the story. But luckily enough, about 10 days later, somebody some distance away found this buried under trees, all that would have been broken to cover it. Because you see the steel caps here on that? The noise that it was making when they were attempting to steal it and the other one, it meant they panicked. So they said, we better do something with it but couldn't afford to keep going with it. And that you can see that the steel had the knives that they made. And hence that was found, recovered, put back into the old storage. And then eventually they kindly donated it here to my father now, way back in time. And that's the story behind that particular brown carriage. <laughs> Each week, we love bringing you our videos on Irish transport past and present, but we need your support to do so. Please sponsor us via the Ireland Made website for just €2 Euros per month. Keep watching Ireland Made.